The first one happens in every single individual when you transplant organs or tissues that come from a different individual. Unless they are harvested from an identical twin, in which case they will not be rejected, the human body recognizes what is non-self and basically fends it off because it thinks it's a virus, it's a bacteria and needs to be cleared. In the case of type 1 diabetes, there is an added level of complexity because the disease starts when the immune system makes a mistake and attacks cells that should be normally tolerated because they belong to the individual that has that immune system. This is called autoimmunity. Type 1 diabetes is a clear example of an autoimmune attack that is directed towards the beta cells. So now think about the recipient of a transplant that has type 1 diabetes and gets beta cells that are harvested from a completely unrelated donor. You have the two mechanisms that contribute to the failure of the graft. The fact that it comes from a different individual will unleash rejection. The fact that the person that receives the graft and its islets has autoimmunity will lead to the recurrence of autoimmunity.